it's Carrie, Easton, and Leah. Welcome to another episode of Nurtured Kids. Today we are going to exercise our vagal break. What does that mean, you say? It doesn't mean that we're going to be exercising or breaking things. <laughs> we are going to be practicing calming our nerves with our vagus nerve. And this is a long nerve that goes all the way from your brain stem down your spine. And that is a very special thing because we have access to it and we can control it. So one of the ways we've done this in the past is by lengthening our exhale. So say we inhale for a count of four, we could exhale for a count of six. Or add an audible sigh like Liam just did. That's another way to calm your vagus nerve. Well, this is what we're going to do is we're going to do some deep breathing while visualizing something with breaks. Do either of you have an idea of something that has breaks? Maybe can, a bicycle. A bicycle? Maybe a Jeep. A Jeep? Or a car or a bus. A bus, a car, great. So things that stop um, or things that maybe can shut off. Like a lawnmower? Uh, a lawnmower. Maybe a TV a TV, a faucet, turning off the knob. So pick out an object, a lamp, pick out something that has a switch or a button, even something turning down the volume. Something that you can imagine that you've got your own break that you can shift when you need to. And we're going to do some deep breathing while we work to turn our, uh, to either break, to stop in our minds, or to turn something down or off. So get an idea in your mind about what you want to use, whether or not you want to use your bicycle brakes, whether or not you want to imagine stopping a, a vehicle or a car or something, or you want to imagine shutting something off or turning something down. So get that idea in. Is it locked in? Great, okay, let's go. I invite you, if you're comfortable, to close your eyes and you can place your hands on your belly. So we're gonna do some breathing. And as you settle in, just starting to notice your breath, let's give those three big deep breaths with audible sighs. Uh, <sighs> Two more. Uh, <sighs> and last one. Uh, <sighs> Call to mind whatever you would like to use as your own personal vagal break. What do you see? Think about it. Notice it in detail. What color is it? What hand are you going to use to affect it? Does it have it make a clicking noise when you press it or squeeze it? have a shape to it or a, a, a sensation like a is it hard or soft and just think about that as being your own personal button or lever if you will something that you can use along with your breathing that you can shift how you're feeling when you've got big emotions that you want to change So as you breathe, just imagine yourself pressing that button or shifting that lever or turning that knob, whatever it is that you need to do, whatever action you need to take. You can picture yourself doing it in a couple different ways, maybe fast, Maybe doing it much more slow or even in slow motion. And while you do this, while you make that shift and exercise your vagal break, be sure that you're breathing in and out through your nose and feeling that belly rise and fall. Imagine 
imagine yourself pressing or squeezing or pushing or whatever it is, that vagal break over and over. And that's where the exercise part comes in. So we're practicing it. So that when you get a big feeling and you get something that kind of shuts off your thinking brain because you're so busy being wrapped up in it, you know that you need to go to your button or your lever or whatever it is that you need to do to turn, basically turn the feeling down. And we're not doing this to get rid of it or take it away. We're doing it to help soften it and help it not be so in control. By exercising your vagal break, we're putting you, you are putting you back in control. You're saying, hey body, I got this so that you can do what you need to do next. So getting a really good look at that button or level, lever or break, whatever shape it is, one last time, maybe changing it or pressing it or turning it down, squeezing it and stopping one last time and getting a really good picture about how that would feel and what you would do. Remembering to breathe while you're doing it. we open our eyes, inhaling, ah. again, ah. and last one, ah. I invite you to open your eyes, I hope you were able to picture what your own vagal break looks like, and understand that you have the ability to switch how you're feeling all the time. Just by picturing something like that, visualizing it and using your breath, you have the power. So give it a shot and let us know in the comments how it works. Until next time, bye. Bye. Bye-bye.